Hello everybody, Eric Lynn here. I want to talk to you about a, uh, I guess a sometimes controversial subject that, that I've seen on Facebook. Um, there's a couple things I avoid on Facebook and that's first of all talking about who's got the best riding saddle. Stay away from that one. Boy, whoever comes out of the woodwork. The other one is uh, donkey's nutrition. Everybody's got an opinion about that. Um, I guess what I try to avoid in these conversations is never and always. Because as soon as you say never do this or always do that, somebody's going to come along and prove you wrong. So I avoid those two, those two approaches to any of these arguments. And so today, I'm going to talk about a, a, a topic that can also be controversial, and that's putting blankets on donkeys in the wintertime. And uh, there is a no, never, and always on that as well, and I will talk to you about why, and, and kind of why I, 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 my approach to this, this, this topic. Um, there's been people say, well, people put blankets on donkeys because they're cold. They figure if they're cold, the donkey must be cold. So I thought, well, let's think about that from a human standpoint, okay? Um, I spent 11 years in two tours at uh, South Dakota, uh, and, I, and I, I grew up in Florida. So here I am, a transplant to South Dakota, and I'm going to tell you something. That first year was rough, <laughs> really rough. I was cold. Um, I really was. I mean, we, I experienced 94 below wind chill in South Dakota. And let me tell you, there's not enough clothes you can put on to stay warm in that kind of wind chill. Um, but you know, as I stayed there, I learned things. I learned how to dress warmly. Uh, I learned how to get out of the wind, you know, stay away from the wind. That's what really sucks that heat away from you. Um, and I, I built up a tolerance because we worked outside. I, was, I built bombs. I was ammo back then. So we're building bombs for B1s and we had to do it outside. And it was cold. And you build up this tolerance to the cold. You get used to it. Uh, you know how to deal with it. And I really think that applies to these donkeys too. Uh, I think they build up a tolerance to the cold. We just had a blizzard two days ago and the wind chill was well below zero and these donkeys weren't shivering uh, and, and they were in that cold. But what they did do is they got out of the wind uh, and they tried to stay dry and that's what's key to keeping a donkey warm I think in the winter time. Let's talk about when I put a blanket on a donkey and when I don't. Okay, Early on in the, in the fall a lot of times I'll go up into the mountains uh, to elk hunt in September and the donkeys hadn't quite built up that tolerance to the cold and they hadn't built up a good thick coat yet and if it's raining up there and it's cold sometimes you can get down close to freezing uh, they'll shiver they're cold and so what I've learned is I've got I got some little turnouts that I put on these donkeys basically it's a rain jacket and I try to when I when I put them somewhere where there's a I give them cover so they can get out of the rain uh, if it's going to rain I put those turnouts on them try to keep them dry and that, and that seems to help a little bit with them fighting off that cold. Um, this donkey here that just walked by, I picked her up in Scottsdale, Arizona in August. And that first year she was here, she didn't have time to really acclimate and build up a good winter coat. And so that first year, there were times when it got really cold that I would put a blanket on her and keep her warm. But as a general rule, I don't put blankets on donkeys. Um, and here's why. I, I think that if when we put donkeys, when we put blankets on donkeys or any equine, we interrupt a couple things. I think first of all, we interrupt their ability to withstand the cold, to get used to it, to build up a tolerance to it. The secondly, I think we also confuse the animal's coat and its growing process uh, because I pulled blankets off people's animals when it wasn't that cold or in the winter time and they were already shedding when they shouldn't be shedding for another couple months. And so that made me wonder, I mean, this donkey shouldn't be shed, it's still winter time. And so I think that if you're gonna put a blanket on a donkey early on in the fall, you're gonna to have to do it all year long, okay? Because I think once you interrupt that, that cycle, uh, you're asking for trouble if you don't put a blanket on a donkey during that time. Uh, but I think if, if you don't put a blanket on a donkey, He'll build up a tolerance and he'll build up a good coat for it. Now, there's a couple keys to that. First of all, they got to be fed correctly. They have got to have good high protein food to build up that coat. Uh, another thing that keeps that, that'll keep them from growing a good coat is if they're wormy. If they've got worms, sometimes they won't shed out in the fall like they should, and so that interrupts their whole cycle of shedding out in the wintertime and then growing that coat back. So they need good feed. They also need good forage when it's cold at night. They need like a high, uh, high fiber, low sugar uh, fuel to stay in their bellies so it ferments and keeps their in internal core temperature warm at night. And so a lot of times I'll give them forage they can eat all night. I'll put it in some of those slow feeder hay nets so they can pick at it all night and, and, and eat that when it's really cold. Um, I saw a really good presentation a couple years back. 
It was done by the folks over in the UK at the Donkey Sanctuary. And they had some infrared images of donkeys and where their heat was coming from, where the heat loss was. And I thought it was interesting because, you know, in the wintertime when these donkeys are out in the, um, in, the, in, the, in the snow, I'll see, I mean, thick snow building up on their backs. That tells me they're not, they're not losing any heat along their back. That, that snow was sitting there not melting, okay? So that tells me something. But what I noticed in their infrared images is the donkey was losing heat between its rear, behind, back legs, underneath its body, uh, and, and, and its lower belly, okay? So if you think about a blanket, a blanket doesn't really do much to retain that heat. It hangs down beside them, but I guess unless you build a donkey diaper to put around them, it's really going to keep, be hard to keep that, that heat from, from heat loss from there. And that's where they were losing all their heat some. So that's the other part of a, of a, of a blanket. I'm not sure it does what you think it, do, it should be doing sometimes and keeping them warm. Now, I've got some, uh, I've got some pregnant donkeys here. Uh, Miss Ella is pregnant and Miss Darling's about to be pregnant here, um, probably next month. And so we'll have some donkeys born in this early spring. Sometimes we can get the snow like this. And so I'm going to make sure I've got blankets ready for those little foals and keep them warm. Um, because, like I said, even those little foals have a lot of hair when they're born. It still worries me a little bit and I want to keep them warm. Okay, so there's that never and always stuff, okay? Uh, there are times when I put blankets on donkeys. And, but as a general rule, I don't do it uh, because I do think it, it interrupts their natural ability to build up a tolerance to the cold, okay? So if you have comments, if you've, if you've seen other things, if you agree with me, disagree with me, gosh, I'd love to hear it. And there, you put some comments down below and let me know. As long as you don't call me names. <laughs> I have deleted a few uh, comments when people start calling me names. But uh, other than that, I'd love to hear what you have to say. You guys take care and hey, stay warm. <laughs>